Hi guys, it's Angela with Kelly Mom Collects and today I am here with the third part of the 50 pound box from Shop Goodwill. And um, first two parts were I was really happy with and I went ahead and pulled aside a, a bunch more to go through and I'm gonna share that with you guys today. So, what I have in front of me is a bunch of pieces that I will put into the craft lot. I don't need to show you guys individually, but some necklaces that have really great beads for a craft lot, but the, the chains were not nice. Wood beads, discoloration, another part to that necklace from before. Um, yeah, faded pieces, some beads some odds and ends beads. This would have been a really cute piece, but it's missing some of the stones. So all this will go into craft. All right, how are you guys doing today? Let's get started. So with these 50 pound box, if you didn't know, I went ahead and got all of the major tangles. Um, I have not gone through everything. I just made sure there wasn't any major tangles so that I could kind of get through this because 50 pounds of jewelry is a lot of jewelry to get through and I don't want to drag it along. So this is a unique piece. It looks like a, a belt. It has the, the Native American, what looks like the Thunderbird, and it looks like somebody made this. And then on the back, it's an adjustable leather. So it could be a belt. I'm thinking so. It's kind of big to be a headband. But there's that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> okay. This looks like a piece to a costume. I think this is a necklace that is supposed to look like blood. So this will be great for Halloween if somebody's wanting to make it look like their neck is bleeding, I guess, I don't know. Okay. That looks interesting. It looks like jade and a brass four leaf clover for like a, like a lucky pendant. The, the chain is pretty dark, but let me look closely at the clasp. All right, on the clasp, it says 14K GF for gold film. And I don't know if there's a way to make that chain not dark. If there is, if you can polish this, I'm not sure. Because if it's gold filling, it should be able to be polished. But let me know if you guys know that. Pretty colors with this pink and lavender. Definitely an old piece. Ooh, what is this? This is one of the, the vintage designers. I have a, I screenshotted a bunch of the hang tags. So a certain designer has that hang tag and I will have to look back at my screenshots to see which one. If you guys know, let me know. I'll look close at that, but it's pretty small. Okay, I don't see any marks on this, but it is a cute vintage piece. Love the colors that um, look closely. It kind of has like an iridescence on the acrylic beads. And then these ones kind of almost look like carved stone, but cute. The metal is dark, which happens a lot on these old pieces and there is some hair there. Okay, we've got a smiley face, colorful, 
necklace that looks like somebody made. Okay, this necklace has really pretty pink crystal beads on here. Let's look closely. First, let's look to see if there's any marks. Nice chain. Cute. see what that was. Pretty glass pendant with a swirl design. The, the actual necklace part is very like kinked up. I don't know if there's a way to get that. Yeah. So it would probably have to be taken off of this and put on a different chain, but that's cute. Okay, we have a double strand faux pearl necklace. Nice box clasp there. Let's look at it. Does that say something? It's hard to, hard to tell. I don't see any marks unless that's an M right there for Monet, but I don't think so. But that's a cute. The clasp has some fading on it, but the rest of the bracelet is very nice. Okay, okay I am expecting a delivery. I've got some blue boxes coming. I've got some Shop Goodwill boxes coming, and I just got my thread up mixed jewelry boxes too so that will be next so yeah i have a lot a lot going on this is a vintage acrylic link necklace it doesn't look like there's a clasp so this will have to be pulled over the head it needs a little bit of wiping down okay Oh my goodness. What is this? It is so heavy. It is on a chain. I can't even imagine somebody actually wearing that unless it was for a costume. This looks like something that would like hang in get light but it's like a very heavy acrylic here and it's a wizard that's odd I could say I've never gotten this in a jewelry box before all right and the chain is pretty faded I have no idea what that is We have a dainty little gold tone rhinestone bracelet. Let's see if all the rhinestones are there. Yes, and there is a hand tag. Looks like Monet. Yep. Cute little, the gold tone looks nice and it's small and dainty. And this, on the other hand, is not. We have a gumball acrylic stretch bracelet. Fun. Okay, we have a vintage gold chain here with a shell pendant. No marks. 
say the gold tone is good. It's not perfect and it's not like super dark, but that's a real shell that someone made into a pendant. Pretty good size too. We have a little acrylic stretch bracelet. Looks like somebody made it. It's kind of finished like that. We have a really pretty, oh, hold on a second. Three really pretty pearl. These are real pearls. Yep, real pearl stretch bracelets. Very nice spring edition or Easter. These would be nice on Easter. They have light pinks and peaches and peacock yellow champagne really a lot of pretty colors in that they remind me of the anora ones we have a hematite liquid silver style necklace I have not tested anything yet, so let's see. You never know, these can be silver, they can be silver plated, or they could be nothing, they could be silver toned. Always different, I think. There's a little magnet ball stuck to my I think I see a streak there. I think there might be a light silver plating on that. These to be polished up. Ooh, this is pretty. I have a very pretty vintage faux pearl necklace. Beautiful rhinestone clasp. This is heavy. These are glass pearls. They are hand knotted. Kind of looks like a collar length, minus the hair. This is a gorgeous necklace. Let's see if there's any marks. Nope, I don't see any marks. But that is a beautiful piece, beautiful, beautiful piece. It's kind of hard with these 50 pound boxes because like with my attention span, I already want to move on to the next. I have boxes waiting to be opened and I know that I have to finish this 50 pound box first. It's, it's something I struggle with. All right, pretty heart pendant. see any marks sometimes these are magnetic so I was looking let's look on the inside no I don't see any this is a very heavy piece thick chain yep all right still cute Got a little Christmas bracelet. It's very light, but it's cute. Okay, the, the chain on this is, is pretty dark. Like maybe it was a brass. I do think I see something. What does that say? Okay, let me look close. I can't tell. Yeah. 
it says perch with a little bird there. I've not heard of that brand, but the brass tone on this is, is gotten pretty dark. It makes it, it gives it that vintage look. Little crystals and then don't know what that is. It's kind of heavy and cold. Okay. All right, we have a gold tone necklace with a wide drop pendant. Gold tone looks good and it is from Express. choker necklace. These are very light. Ah, the bracelet to that necklace. I think I put that into craft because it was like fraying a little bit, but that's cute for a little girl. A little girl's Easter. Ooh, that's a pretty ring. These look like gemstones. And it is one that could be adjusted. It's got an open back. Looks like these petals need to be, the petals are all wire wrapped so you can like move it around to, but that's cute, that's cute. It looks like it might be quartz. As of now, it sits at a, an eight but it's one that like if you could push it or you could squeeze it so there's that i'll put on the screen if it tested as quartz all right we have a really long long necklace here and all of the tassels are still wrapped in plastic which is great because those tassels especially cream they get um yucky looking so it looks like maybe you could double this because it's so long. Cream and gold. We've got a couple acrylic. They kind of have like an iridescence on them stretch bracelets. On. We have a heavy heart pen. Oh, what is that? What in the world is this? Is this supposed to be, the, can you put a picture in there? That must be like you could put a picture in there. Oh, how funny. I was not expecting that. That's kind of cute. We have a box chain. The silver on this looks nice, but what's going on up here? just tangled. I don't see any marks on this. There's that. Okay, we have a stone necklace. This looks like sodalite. Sodalite has the white mixed in and Lapis has like the gold flex mixed in. That's how you know the difference between the two. It's easy to get mixed up. But this is a long layering necklace. I don't think that you could double it. I think it's meant to be worn long as a layering piece. Cute. We have a little pull to adjust 
bracelet. No marks. Purple and black. All right, we have a Christmas ornament necklace. Cute glitter ornaments. Silver tone. No marks. Silver tone looks great. Check out the glitter. There's a little bit coming off of the red one. But that sure is cute. That would be cute around Christmas time. All right, this is a hefty piece. That's cute. Cow, cowgirl boots with little rhinestones on the top and then cute little flower ball beads. Thought that was a mark there at first, but I think it's just a little bit of grime. All right, all you cowgirls. Super cute. That'd be cute for a country concert, rodeo, or the grocery store if you wanted. All right, we have another vintage necklace here. Really pretty pale pink and champagne colors. Is there a missing bead there? Looks like maybe there's a missing, there was a bead there because the end caps are still there. Let me see if I see any. That does say something, probably Japan, but let me look. It's a Japan, vintage Japan piece. Pretty beads, huh? Okay. We have a rosary. And this one feels really nice. Sometimes you get the really light, cheap ones, but this is these are glass. Yeah. A heavy glass bead, crystal glass bead. Rosary. Oops, what do we got going on here? Nope, I'm making it worse. Let's undo it. All right, let's look at this one first. Vintage 80s with this. It's the ceramic. What is that? Is that an SD? Hmm. Has the silk they always want to talk when I start recording alrighty there's that and then this nice silver link necklace feels feels nice it feels good quality premier designs
Oh, looks like we got a belt here. Silver link belt. Adjustable, textured, shiny silver, silver hoops. Okay. All right, this one looks to be in good condition. Feels like acrylic. We're getting through this part. Okay, these feel like stone. This, oh, look at that hair. This length looks like a choker length but this is a really pretty piece that would sit there in the front these feel and look all like gemstones it's studded with crystals all around the outside this is a really pretty piece the stones kind of have like a a matte look to them No marks and the there is a little bit of fading on the clasp. But that is a cute piece. I like that. This looks like it matches the the Heishi shell necklace that we not the Heishi, what was it? Puka. I'm getting the two confused. The puka shell necklace that we opened in one of the other parts. This is the matching little bracelet. Okay, I am seeing some denting on this. The gold tone looks nice. Oops. What do we got going on here? Is it broken? sharp. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe this is not, um, like it doesn't want to stay closed. The little clasp there might be. But let's take a look at this because the gold looks nice and a lot of times with these gold bracelets that are hollow like this, um, it could be, it could be a gold. Oh my goodness, that little magnet ball. It is just sticking around, literally. All right. We rarely get to test for gold, so let's, let's do it without bending this anymore. Got a good little scratch there. I start with the, the 10K. Oops. Got a bubble. Okay. Let's watch if the 10 carat dissolves that scratch, it is not gold. If it does not dissolve that scratch, I know that it, it is at least 10 karat gold. And then if, I, I mean, I wouldn't sell this piece anyways because it's dented and it is not staying closed, but I could definitely, it might still be wearable. And it is not dissolving. leave that there for a second and just see what it feels like on still cute yeah 
it's not dissolving. This is a gold bracelet. We got a little bit of gold in the box. That's exciting. Wish it was um, in better condition, but that's still exciting. Okay. This is a really pretty heart glass heart pendant. This is a big puffy heart. Really pretty, almost raspberry pink swirl and the gold glitter in there. Yeah, that's a pretty one. On a double strand seed bead necklace. No marks, but that is a pretty piece. Get a lot of the, the strand, the glass pendant necklaces, but that one's really pretty. Okay, we have a heavy, chunky link bracelet, and there is a hang tag. BR Banana Republic. This looks in great condition. Pretty, almost like smoky gray, black looking crystals on that link. Nice, 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 nice. All right, we have a, an American flag. I think somebody made this. We've got a wood flag on just a little silk ribbon. Cute, cute, cute. What have we got here? We have a brooch. Looks like Monet, but let me look close. Yep, it says Monet. We have a little Monet bar brooch. Gold, gold looks good on that. Pretty bracelet with really oh, emerald green. Oops, is that is there one missing? Looks like maybe there's one. Oh, is that something on there? Oh no, it was just something on there. Okay, I had a little something on there. Oh, that one might be missing. Let me look closely. I can't tell if there's gunk on this or if there's missing rhinestones, but it has a tag that says RC, RC. Beautiful emerald green color on that. But where was it? Where was that? Let me see if that's missing, a missing stone. Oh, goodness. Took you guys for a ride. Okay, that is a little missing rhinestone on that. But still a really cute piece. Let me see if I focused. We have a faux pearl necklace. Looks like a collar length on that. These feel like acrylic. Yep, they're a little bit lighter. Let's see. Let's show this one first. We've got a little red, white, and blue. Got some patriotic stuff in this lot. Looks like little glass beads. Looks like somebody might have made this. It's cute. 
Oh, can't even. Feels like glass. We have a dyed howlite necklace. The silver tone looks good. It is hand knotted. And then this one, this chain looks kind of dark. Really pretty pendant, really cool chain. Could be a tarnish. Let's look a little closer. That's a bummer. Let me see. Let me see if this would polish up because if this polishes up, it's it's a really nice piece. This is heavy. Why am I losing focus all of a sudden? Maybe I'm going too much back and forth. Let's do, oops, do I have the inside? Yeah, okay. Let's see. I do think that it is starting to polish up a little bit. There might be a silver plating on this. And this, obviously, I'm not going to polish the whole necklace up right now because that would be super boring. But I just want to see if there's any hope left. Oh, yeah. Already, that piece in the middle, you can see, is a lot lighter than the dark outside. I think I can get this necklace looking good. It may even have a silver plating on here. I'll let you guys know, but um, I think there's hope for this piece. I do. I'm just gonna try to stay in so that it doesn't lose focus. Really pretty pendant here. Nice flat chain. No marks. Kind of has a um, cat's eye, like a plum, purple plum colored cat's eye center there. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Oh, this is tiny. This must have been made for a little one. Super cute. But it is pretty cross look little wood beads okay I think I see another little one. Oh yeah two cute little tiny stretch bracelets for a tiny little wrist we have a shell a dyed shell bracelet. The stretch looks good. I don't wear jewelry a lot when I'm showing boxes because I like to put it on sometimes. Not all the times, but sometimes I like to put the piece on and show you guys what it would look like. So I tend to take off my jewelry before I do my unboxings. We have another shell chip necklace. This one is in a peachy coral color. This is very light. Maybe for a young girl. Pretty cute colors, but it reminds me of a piece that maybe came from Claire's. Just guessing it doesn't say Claire's, but We have a gold glitter bracelet, magnetic closure, 
no brands. Looks to be in really good condition. Cute pendant. The cord is a little iffy. Yeah, it's kind of coming back to life. There might be hope for this. Okay, I had set my alarm and when it went off, it cut off my video. So I don't know where I was with this, but anyways, it, it doesn't feel like a super quality piece. There's some fading and the pendant is cute, but. Looks like J. Crew. We have a J. Crew piece. Pretty colors. I do see some darkening up here on the chain. Let's look closely. Yeah, there is a bit of darkening on the, the links on this. The front is still really pretty. That happens a lot with these ones. The part that's around the neck kind of gets discolored. This looks cool. This looks like lapis and brass. And this looks very old, actually. Let's look closely. Focus. Really cool piece. I love this. I love lapis. It's one of my and look at look at the design on that. Yeah, really, really cool piece. Lapis is one of my favorite, favorite stones. We have a frosted acrylic. is a vintage piece. Gold tone looks great. In great condition. Okay. Okay, this is this is very light and it's very small. Could it be a choker? Could it be for a kid? There's like some stone pieces and then these pieces, this could be amber. Oh, I have my black light here. Let me see if, let's see, it's, it's light. It could be amber. It could be one of those amber necklaces for kids, but kind of looks like serpentine with it. Okay, I'm going to shut off my light. It doesn't make it that dark. But I have my black light. I always have it here just in case, but I don't get to use it very often. Oh, yeah. This is amber. You see that? This is an amber bead necklace. It might be for a little one, but do you see the glowing? That is amber. And it's not even that dark in here. Cool! So, there we go. It's tiny. I wonder if you could um, use it as a wrap bracelet. Maybe Nope, it doesn't quite go. Oh, and 
the um, inside of this is like a plastic to twist. All right, interesting. We got to move along, but that was interesting. We have another acrylic stretch purple. This is pretty. This is either a kind of looks like stone and those look like those lava beads. This is white lava beads and stone in a really vibrant aqua color. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. We have a beaded bracelet. Looks like somebody made, has just a simple little hook closure over here. A dainty, dainty, dainty chain that looks like it's broken. It is so okay. It looks like this chain is broken. Um, that's always like the thing I worry about when I'm pulling, especially when you have these large lots and they're compacted in a box and you're trying to pull some pieces out. Um, this has happened a few times where the little dainty chain. So that's normally why I try to dump the box out and gently pull pieces out. Um, but this, this 50 pound box was hard to just dump out. So I don't know if I did this or if it was already done, but it's a good possibility that I did it. This chain is so thin, so, so, so thin. Let me look here at the clasp in this little bar to see what it says. Oh, great. It is, it says 14K right up here. There was nothing on the bar that I saw, but it's a broken 14 carat, very, very thin necklace. So that's a bummer, but I could put that aside in a scrap, I guess. I've never tried to sell scrap, scrap precious metals before. We have a loft bracelet, cute acrylic, gold tone looks good, cute light colors. Okay, these look like shells. I don't know what the little flowers are. That also could be maybe like a shell feels kind of light to be a stone, but they're pretty carved flowers and shell pieces. Okay. Do we have silver? We do. We have sterling silver and shell. And I'm not sure what the carved roses are. They feel kind of too light to be, to be stone. But that is a really, really cute piece. I love those shell, shell pieces. All right, got a little bit of gold and silver. Okay, I think we're gonna do a few more pieces and then probably try to wrap it up. I feel like we're, we're getting there. We have a rhinestone bracelet. There is some darkening on this. And on the back, it's a clamper style. Looks like all the rhinestones are there. It's just, just some darkening. I don't know if that can be polished up, but I will try. 
Here we have another little bracelet that looks like either stone or glass. Kind of looks like glass to me. Unless this is a stone that I'm not aware of. I'm not going to do any more testing, but I will let you know if that is sterling silver or not. We have a Brighton pendant. Just the pendant, no, no necklace, but um, we still have quite a bit of jewelry to get through, so I will put that aside and hope that the necklace is in there. Alex and Ani, Hand of Fatima, Positivity, Faith, Abundance, okay, this is China in there, no other marks but that, hmm, that came apart kind of kind of easy that I mean it looks brand new as far as condition but I don't know about that maybe that's how it's supposed to be who knows we have a little pearl stretch faux pearl and we have a little ring hmm Okay, let me look on the inside to see if I see any marks on this one. No marks, and I don't think that it is sterling silver. It just, um, it didn't look like it to me. I'll let you know if it is. Okay, let's get through. We've got a few more pieces that I had set aside. Okay, and we have some earrings here. Okay, this is really pretty, these, these dangling crystal pieces. Might be a little overstretched, but um, that's really, really a pretty piece. Little orange bangle. Another little pearl. This one is glass. It's heavy and has a cute little brown bow. A little fashion ring. Another stone bracelet. Kind of has like a, a copper looking toggle clasp on this one. It has a little dangling feather or wing. Okay, and then let's go through the earrings that were in this bunch. We have little dangling owls in a brass tone. I'm glad there were some earrings. We really haven't come across, not a lot of earrings or rings yet in this box. Lots of necklaces and bracelets. Little maple leaf. These would be super cute for fall. Then it looks like maybe that's a little acorn. No marks. We have some clip earrings. I don't know what's wrong with this one. It's just kind of poking out to the side. Okay, there we go. Just like a little gold dangling. No marks. Vintage clips. There's like a um, texture on that part. And then we have these little silver tone with shades of purple, no marks. All right, that is it for this part. Let me go ahead and pull back my favorites in, in this video. Okay, here are my favorites from this part, part three of the 50 pound box. 
um, super amazing to get gold in the box. That That's really awesome, even though it's not really usable, sellable pieces. I'm still happy about that. But my number one favorite piece is this lapis necklace. And I love all the other natural element pieces. This bracelet here, I tested the little flowers and they tested at the end of the garnet in the beginning of the amethyst. What do you guys think that is? They're kind of really dark like garnets. So that's super cool. And that did test as jade. And what else? Oh, this is not necessarily one of my favorites, but it's just wild. And I had to add it in for the thumbnail. But I hope you guys enjoyed this time with me. If there's anything in this video that you would like, you can email me at callymomcollects 4 you at gmail.com. I will put it up on the screen. And I was charging $5 flat shipping, but I just shipped stuff out today and it ended up costing a lot more than $5. I still am going to honor the $5 for your first order, but once I realize what it is to ship, I'll let you guys know and um, charge you a price that's more aligned with what it actually costs because I actually ended up paying a lot for shipping today. So that being said, thank you for being here. And until next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye.